We all use portals every single day. When you walk through a doorway, open a window, or even look into a mirror, they are all portals that can welcome wanted and unwanted energies if we aren't careful. Some things can even be natural portals, such as caves, mountains, the human body, and even bodies of water, such as lakes and ponds. These portals allow energy to flow through them from both directions and can bring positive or negative things along with them. In some beliefs held by traditional Southeastern Asians, the universe is thought to be three layers, above, middle, and below worlds. Similar to Christians' faith in heaven, earth, and hell. Above is the sky, filled with ancestors and perfect spiritual beings. Middle is home to all human, animal, and plant living beings. In contrast, the below is watery, unformed, and home to destructive spiritual entities and monsters. In mythology, spirits can pass through each realm through certain portals and cause positive or negative happenings among the living. Today's story takes us to Wisconsin and a possible portal that has been causing those who travel there to experience a wide array of negative paranormal occurrences. It is located in Vilas County, Wisconsin, and resides along West Bay Lake. You've probably heard about the haunted Summer Winds Mansion, but today we will expand that knowledge and learn all about the history and energies that still reside in the area to this day. Some intense energy had to open that portal, so let's see if we can discover what it was. The mansion called Summer Wind was built in the early 20th century, in 1916. It was originally built as a fishing lodge, but the area was inhabited for thousands of years before that by several Native American tribes, such as the Chippewas. They farmed, fished, hunted, and became one of the most powerful tribes in the area, thanks to the abundant natural resources. When French settlers began to explore the area, the Chippewa aided them in their fur trade and began to learn the language. Their work with the Europeans only strengthened their power, and they were soon spread throughout Michigan, northern Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Canada. Their alliance with the French benefited both parties, and even a few other natives, the Potawatomi and Ottawa tribes. That was until the Seven Year War, which began in 1754. The natives remained in their partnership with the French and fought alongside them to help defeat the British forces attempting to seize the land. When the French were defeated, the Treaty of Paris was signed. The native people instantly lost their ancestral land and were forced to give up the majority of them. Even more, during the American Revolution, the native people teamed up with the British this time. When the war was over and the British defeated, all tribes in the area were forced into leaving, first into Minnesota and eventually into a tiny reservation around 1836. Searching for a therapist who can help you out of a rut, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed, can make you feel, well, more overwhelmed. How do you get the energy to look for the right person, schedule appointments, and take the time to go to their office? Talkspace makes all of that easy. Easy to find the right therapist and easy to meet with them because it's all online, in your space, on your schedule. Talkspace is the easiest way to feel like your old self again, or even better, like your new self. Talkspace is a new, more convenient way to find a therapist and to meet with them. Everything is done online. You find the therapist you feel closest to and you meet virtually, wherever you're most comfortable on your schedule. 
so there's no missed work or scheduling childcare for an appointment. It's therapy designed for your life. At Talkspace.com, you match with a provider that's right for you, usually within a day or two. If you have an issue that comes up, you don't need to wait for your next appointment. You can message your Talkspace therapist anytime through the app or schedule a live session if you need some FaceTime. Talkspace has thousands of therapists with all kinds of specialties. There's someone who's exactly right for you, and Talkspace makes it easy for you both to connect. Looking to renew and rejuvenate your life? Look to Talkspace. And now, get $100 off your first month when you go to Talkspace.com slash hidden to match with your dedicated therapist. Go to Talkspace.com slash hidden now to get $100 off. Talkspace.com slash hidden. There's nothing worse than going to a doctor's appointment expecting to be the center of attention, and then your doctor seems like they have better things to do and better places to be. Instead of listening to you intently, asking you how you feel, and helping you, the doctor's checking the clock. On ZocDoc, you'll find quality doctors who focus on you, listen to you, and prioritize your care. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. When you're not feeling your best and just trying to hold it together, finding great care shouldn't take up all your energy. That's where ZocDoc comes in. Using their free app that millions of users rely on, you can find the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Book an appointment with a few taps in their app and start feeling better faster with ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com slash hidden staircase and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's ZocDoc.com slash hidden staircase. ZocDoc.com slash hidden staircase. Their once vast, beautiful home was replaced with a strange, fenced-in cage. The land was used as a pass-through for fishermen and hunters for several decades until a fishing lodge was built in 1914. It was initially called the Lamont Mansion after one of its original owners, Robert Patterson Lamont. Robert expanded the existing lodge and built a 32-room mansion with electricity, heat, and running water. During construction, it wasn't easy to keep workers. Most would be scared away from supernatural occurrences and refuse to return. There are mixed rumors about what happened to him and his family while living on the property. One of them is that he fired his gun at a specter one night, and it frightened them so much that they fled and never returned. Robert was sitting down for dinner when the basement door opened and a woman with long black hair emerged and began approaching the family. They fled when he fired his gun, which did not affect her. In the 1940s, a family named the Kiefers bought Summerwind and owned the property until the 60s, mostly against their will. They attempted to sell multiple times, but every time, the new family would quickly abandon the property, and the Kiefers were forced to repossess the home. They even refused to enter the house due to the number of hauntings they and everyone else encountered. In 1970, the Hinshaw family claimed ownership of Summerwind, and that's when the hauntings really began to pick up. The home had aged and required repairs, but again, workers wouldn't remain long at the property. Rooms would change their size and layout randomly while workers attempted to repair them. Their tools would suddenly catch fire or go missing, and vehicles would start independently. 
it would be enough to scare even the bravest of handy persons. The Hinshaws received even worse torment. Arnold Hinshaw, the father, claims that these spirits ordered him to play the organ, and he would often play throughout each night to appease them. Lights would turn on and off, a smell of perfume was constantly lingering in the air, and disembodied voices would haunt them as they tried to sleep. That, along with seeing full-bodied apparitions, eventually led to the family joining the rest of the previous tenants in fleeing. Eventually, in 1986, a couple bought the home, hoping to repair it. They chose to live in a trailer away from the home and were optimistic about restoring the mansion. That was until one night when they claimed the home was breathing in and out like a set of lungs. Then, stating that the house was alive, they also fled, never to return. They would be the last to own the actual home, however. Once they fled, Summerwind sat vacant for two years. Then, one night, a neighbor said he saw lightning strike near the home. The next thing he knew, Summerwind was completely ablaze as the all-hardwood house at the top of the hill acted as a lightning rod. Before the fire crews could extinguish the fire, the home was nothing but a pile of ash with brick chimneys towering over it. To this day, Summerwind is still looked at by paranormal investigators attempting to uncover the mysteries that lie hidden in the ruins. Unfortunately, they sit on private land that is only welcome to visitors with permission. Some, like the author Raymond J. Bobber, claim that Summerwind's was haunted by the ghost of an early Great Lakes explorer, Jonathan Carver. But could it be possible that the adverse treatment of the Native Americans and the removal of their land was enough to turn the mirrored surface of the nearby lake into a portal of revenge, giving spirits the power to chase away anyone who dares to dwell in their ancient ancestral home. Perhaps the key to figuring out the mystery of summer winds lies in the repentance of our ancestors' wrongdoings. If you are ever fortunate enough to receive an invitation to visit the ruins of Summerwind, approach with caution and a humble apology. You may just be the first to be welcomed by the energies that stand guard of the sacred lands. <laughs> <laughs> 